Hello guys, welcome to my second uh, video. It's about another example for conjugate B method and I would like to thank you for your support that I got for my first video. Uh, so I'll start a quick because there is no time because tomorrow we have the exam. So um, uh, I have this example and it needs the deflection at A which will make the moment at A dash a dash it's for the conjugate beam so uh, the beam i have it's a roller support and the pin or hinged support and one concentrated load at the end at point a which is 20 kilonewtons and we have the distances two meters and six meters um i start of course by um measuring the um quantity of the support for the roller and the uh, hinged or the uh, pin support uh, by summation moment about B I will find CY which will be uh, clockwise and then uh, summation moment about C I will find the um, BY which is uh, clockwise as well so I will uh, uh, draw the moment diagram for the real beam which will be a 40 downward in a negative sign um, and then I will draw the same beam but uh, I will change it to conjugate beam. So the free end I will I'll put a fixed uh, support for the um, continuous pin or hinge. It will be uh, an internal hinge, as we can see in here. And uh, for the roller, because it's at the end, it's going to be uh, the same, just a roller. Um, I will find the uh, reaction for a C dash. Um, how can I do that? I will make a section. I will take this side of the beam and uh, take the summation moment about b dash i will get the uh, cy dash cy dash uh how what are these uh, i'm gonna explain it uh, uh quickly because it's not really that hard it's very easy so we uh, as, as i explained in my uh, previous video uh this disturb this moment diagram it will be a distributed moment or distributed load on the conjugate beam because it's a negative sign it will be acting downward so I just transferred this graph into here on the conjugate beam with uh, distributed load acting downward uh, and then I determine the resultant force for these two triangles because as you can see they are two triangles um, how can I find these by just the area of the triangle which is a uh, 1 over 2 the width times the height uh, I could find uh, these resultant forces and um, the centroid distance from the 90 degree um, 90 degree side of the triangle uh, for this triangle it will be 2 and for this uh, triangle it will be 2 over 3 so uh, as I did this I did most of the work uh, the rest is just easy um, I will find I will do a section here because it needs the uh, deflection at point at point A of the real beam which will make a dash at the conjugate beam so uh, just right of um, a which is just at right of the this fixed support I will uh, determine the um, moment at a uh, so as you can see uh, I assumed it to be um, a counterclockwise it's okay, you can assume it at the other side, but it will be in negative, and then you have to change it or leave it as it is. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, so a positive and positive sign a moment at A dash uh, plus 40 divided by EI times A8, which is the distance from um, this uh, point until here, uh, minus in pi minus um, sign uh, 120 uh, divided by EI times this distance which is 2 and plus this to the uh, centroid of this triangle that we found which is it, which is it in here uh, minus 40 times uh, 4 over 3 which is um, 2 minus this centroid of this triangle so uh, by calculator we get this number which makes the deflection in real beam and that's all uh, it's very easy you just have to um, memorize how you can find the resultant force for these um, shapes maybe you can get um, a curvature or a trapezoid you just apply the area 
just as the same uh, for the triangle and you can find the resultant forces so uh, thank you and I hope you could uh, use it and understand more uh, thank you very much again uh, so have a good night and goodbye